What is up YouTube, it's Rick again with another video about 2K Mobile and today we're going to talk about the gauntlet uh, but first we're going to claim our free coins, the free credits so very important to complete your checklist and obtain your free coins every day so lo load up on these credits so these coins you can use to purchase event chargers to finish events so this week's event is the gauntlet so it's the easiest event and if you're going to play one event for this game then this is the game this is the event to play so what i usually do is i usually just run auto play during the first few days and as you can see i'm starting with zero event players so zero style bonus so i usually just run auto play first few days and you should be able to get the first two event cards so for this event it's the Richard Jefferson small forward and then you can also get Ray Allen shooting guard and after getting these two players you can actually get the champ champions collectibles and then craft another uh, player uh, with a different position so you'll have three event players by the last day and during the last day that's when you would use your event chargers to uh, complete the event so i'm just gonna play this game uh, i'm just gonna show you a technique i use uh, it's somewhat like a strategy easy strategy to uh, beat the computer so sometimes if you play if you auto play the first half and let's say you're behind you can use the strategy to come back so for defense i just usually run auto play if the ball handler is in front of you and it's not dribbling too much then you can attempt a steal and once you get the ball back uh, first strategy i use is this uh, slow post-up move you just try to walk slowly side to side if you get an opening then you can just go in for an easy layup or a dunk Sometimes you may need to readjust yourself. Uh, I made a video about that move uh, several months ago. So unfortunately our defense didn't play good D there. Uh, the next move is actually uh, this move here, but unfortunately I wasn't able to hit that three-pointer. So I tried to uh, catch their defense off balance. So we'll try it again here. So basically, uh, your point guard, you keep put them on the head start, keep running up and down, and there you go. So, so as you can see there, when you go, catch the ball, the other end, you go up and down. The defense, the usually doesn't uh, isn't set up yet. So, oftentimes you can get like an open three pointer that way. So, usually works uh, when, during dead ball, so we'll try it again here. So, I'm gonna have Steph Curry run, catch the ball up and then down, and there you go, another three pointer. So, uh, as you can see, my timing in terms of shooting isn't really 100% uh, yet, so I wasn't able to get the green. But I still made the basket, so so that's how you do it. Trying to keep, catch their defense off balance. Uh, during turnovers, sometimes it's a bit harder. So uh, if the defense comes back, then you just go back to your the previous post-up move, the slow post-up move side to side. We adjust and then go in for another easy dunk. So basically, that's the that's my like uh, strategy to beat co the computer. So you can use this for the gauntlet. You can use it for seasons. So I'll show it to you again. We're gonna play the the second half.
So when you start the second half, um, since the defense is there, so you go back to the post up move here. And yep, slowly walk to the baseline. And then once you get into the defender, then you just go in for the dunk or the layup. And for defense, again, just keep it at the other play. If you want, yeah, go for the steal. And timing was off there, uh, but they really got the rebound and put back. So even with my timing off, you know, I'm still winning the game, so it's an easy strategy. So that was the computer who jumped, so uh, poor defense by the computer. So let's try that uh, three point strategy again. Yeah, so keep the opponent off guard. Point guard wasn't close, we have an open three. So just uh, skip to the end here. Sometimes when they, they double you in the post, you can pass to an open perimeter. Like what happened there, Steph Curry got the 3 point shot. So that's my strategy, although for Gauntlet, uh, you don't even really need to use the strategy. The, the, your powers are usually much higher than the computer, so you can just even run autoplay and you'll finish the event and eventually get the event card. Looks like I already got uh, Richard Jefferson here. So we'll go ahead and I'll put him in my lineup. I'll claim him and put him in my lineup to get the bonus points. So we'll take the rent out. We'll just remove our mentor. And put Richard Jefferson in. Put some gears. Put uh, a mentor. And then you just train, train him up. So what I do is I train the player and then um, you can actually upgrade maybe at least uh, to the second star. Or second, uh, yeah, upgrade once, so that way you'll have a higher uh, power. Now, in case you don't have Steph Curry, who has like a five out of uh, seven rating on three-point shooting, you can use another point guard. For example, Derek Rose, he only has like 4 out of 7 rating for 3 points, so you can add a shoe and mentor to boost his 3 point shooting. So I'm gonna show you an example here uh, during the second half of my season. You can actually even use uh, uh, different positions. For example, Kevin Durant, small forward. Same thing, you just go down or up or up and down. And if the defense is not set, then go for the three points. So a few more examples here. Even though my timing is off, I'm still hitting the shot. Uh, sometimes you can do it off a turnover as long as the defense is not in front of you. So we'll just fast forward to the end of the game and claim my one. Pink Diamond Joe Kick. So for more tips and tricks, feel free to join our Facebook group NBA2K Mobile Tips and Tricks. We're almost 9,500 members. So take care and stay safe.